Hey and welcome back. In this video we'll take a look how I created this um, small animation using uh, SketchUp and V-Ray and Photoshop and uh, how you can upload something like this to uh, online to your Facebook page or something like that. So we'll take a look uh, Photoshop and uh, on the Photoshop file and also on the SketchUp file quick look and we'll take it from there. T thanks please like and subscribe okay for the sketchup file what we did um, we have this model it has like a scene with uh, the car coming in and we have like everything here is modeled and you can see we have one scene this is the scene we render uh, we render it on uh, interior because it's an interior and very high quality for resolution we did uh, 720 by 720 but this is up to you you can do whatever you would like and some in self illumination we put them um, uh, on the environment we put uh, HDRI so we have here HDRI same for also the background so we get also all the reflection will be nice with uh, the HDRI and um, basically what we did we have this model with uh, the car and the elevator so every time same scene same exactly scene and every time we just select the camera I you need to move it and consistency so I every every take every uh, shot of the rendering I put it up like 12 inch one feet up render and then again one fifth up and render so and move the car a little bit in render move the car once once the elevator was up I moved the car in so I got all my renders and my final result was so this is the rendering that I got and basically the only change that I did is on on this frame you can see the light was very high and then once like the brakes is on so I added this um, I, I put the multiplier higher much higher for this scene and going down so it's like the brakes is pressed down but this is a uh, preference and on your scene you can do it differently so basically I got 25 shots those was cancelled and I got like the front and I got the last shot okay so the next part I took it in Photoshop so I created a new canvas and I did it the same uh, size so uh, 720 by 720 and just open it and now I have my canvas and the reason I started with a canvas because I want all my images to be a uh, smart object so I select all my images so um, from here to here and I just dropped it into the into my canvas and just press enter and I got I got my all my uh, all my layers here now you see here it's a smart object so this give us um, something convenient to create let's say if we now we take camera raw filter and we do some editing on the photo so for example let's say if we want to put up the exposure contrast down the highlights the whites and we want to put some sharpness and clarity some some colors and we want to make a small curve and let's say we want a vignette, small vignette. So 
so I put all my uh, preference whatever you would like so I have all this so this is the before this is the after a lot a lot of life into the picture so n once I got this now because it's a smart ob object I get it as a, a separate layer like as in a filter so now if I press alt and drag it to the next one so also the next one will get this and I can put it on to all my photos okay so I got my uh, smart filter on all the images and one of the the great advantages of using it like this is what let's say you have one photos that one photo so I press alt on the eye and now everything is um, shut down just this layer just for example and let's say you wanna just modify the the camera raw on this photo so if you double click it you get the preference and you can tweak it up accordingly for this image so we are not going to um, tweak it out and we're just going to keep it like this and so we got all our um, all our rendering here so let's take a look and we got the color corrected and we need to add a background so I'll add an image for the background so I have this image uh, I got it from Pixabay and this is uh, just um, a landscaping a city lands landscaping and here I can see how um, uh, I got some on the window I can see some of it so I can align it the way I like it like a little bit green and something like that maybe I can boost up the color a little bit with the uh, Karma Raw filter and maybe uh, put it like a little bit more uh, have some more colors to um, make it nicer it's not it's important the small details and maybe put some nice colors like this and now I have nice colors in the background now I'm ready for um, creating my timeline so basically I want to do like a small animation that like the cars come ca the car come in and uh, into the into the parking lot into the elevator and then goes down into the garage so this is what I want so to get started with this what I want to do is I want to add a timeline so on window you add here the timeline you once you add the timeline you get this timeline and to create a frame animation you press here uh, and if you this is what we want we want to create a frame frame animation so um, the other option is this arrow is to create a video timeline but we don't want to create a video timeline we want to create a frame animation so to create a frame animation and now what we got is we got the background and we got our our, um, our rendering so I'm going to put all my rendering into a folder and this is the the background I, I don't need it so I'm going to uh, delete this one and I want to I have my intro so this is my intro it's like uh, and I want to put it on top so this is car elevator by so this will be the first frame so for the first frame we have here um, car elevation so here we press the new layer we get another one so second frame what we're going to do is to shut it down so now we have two uh, frames and so th this will be the, our second frame second frame we're going to be image number one so next after that is we want another a layer shut out shut down one and put two another layer shut two put three another layer shot three put four and same
So for the last layer, I'm going to go to the background and just drag it in, put it into the into my canvas. So I'm saying I'm missing one, so I'm going to add the last one, and the last one is this one. Okay. So to see our animation, so you go to the beginning and you start, and it's a little bit fast. So you can select the first one and with shift select all of them and on the bottom you can select how long you want each one of them so let's try point two and I think uh, this is okay here you can uh, select how if you want it to go a lap like three time or forever so if we go like this you can see it goes forever and again and for example let's say you want to put uh, a little bit more time for this one for the first one let's for the last one let's put a little bit more time so um, let's say I want to select uh, one second for the last one and you can edit it the way you want it so um, maybe also uh, maybe we can put a little bit more time so let's select all of them and put other let's put 0.15 so it will be a little bit different and for the last one let's put one second and yep let's see how this works so yeah we are ready and if you have more rendering it will go more smooth but for me it's okay so save save for web and here instead of jpeg or png you select the gif and just we'll leave it on that regular and we'll just save it and we'll just we'll save it set leave it like that and here okay okay so we got our car gif so if you double click it you can see our uh, image rendering and our so for uploading this this um, this is a website that uh, whatever you know uh, you can uh, so you can you can use different websites you can use uh, all kind of uh, I found this one and it works okay so I don't mind so I'll go to my file and upload the gift browse and car and you can uh, tags so we'll just type put our car elevator and upload basically what you can do once we got it uploaded you can right click it uh, sorry yeah right click it open a new tab and take this um take this um uh, and just put it into uh your facebook page so now if you go to my page you can see that it's running there we go we got our car elevator running so thank you for watching please like and subscribe check our videos you got all kind of stuff and uh, thanks